So last up, SEC Chairman Jay Clayton backs innovation in crypto, but warns of a tricky play. Before I get into this, I have to preface it with this. I've been hearing this song and dance for four years, and it has not happened. I actually did a video. It was it was called Message from 2012, and it was Roger Veer. It was fascinating because he was talking about how great Bitcoin is and how it's going to take over the world, which kind of has or is going to do. But what he talked about there was like, you know what? That ETF is right around the corner. <laughs> and I had to laugh because I'm like, Psh. even back then, eight years ago. And here we are coming up in 2021. So interesting. But this is news because this is the first time the commissioner of the SEC actually said, hey, we're open to it. So what's happened here? Speaking at an event by the Digital Chamber of Commerce, SEC Chairman Jay Clayton opened up his views about crypto and blockchain. And surprisingly, Mr. Clayton had a positive stand while talking about the tokenized exchange traded fund or ETF. He said the regulators are open to it, meaning him. Uh, however, he passed the honest onto the crypto community to create an efficient way to tokenize the ETF product. He would be open to facilitate it if the crypto community has a strong position. So interesting. So he's basically saying, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this off to you guys. And if it screws up, I'm gonna give it on you. I don't know, maybe that's not it. It's really falls in the SEC. They, they are the regulators. So um, we'll see what happens. But I was kind of thinking about this and I was like, why now? Why is this, why is the commissioner going, yeah, we can do this right now. And I really think it comes down to what's going on in the global economy. And you think, you take a look at things like this where Russia, Russia is ditching the dollar, China's doing the same thing. You got other countries, I mean, North Korea is going, hey, we're going to get around all these different things using cryptocurrencies. On top of uh, Maduro, the Venezuelan president, just came out this week and said, hey, we're going to get around sanctions because we're going to use all the cryptocurrency digital assets that we can. And we're looking into our central bank to see if we can viably store cryptocurrency digital assets to get around sanctions. So when you have something like that, maybe because look, everybody's got a boss everybody's got a boss. doesn't matter who you are. The SEC's got a boss. Or the chief of the SEC's got a boss. Uh, I got a boss. That's my wife. Uh, you got the, I mean, vice president's got a boss. Even the president's got a boss, I think. And uh, they probably sat Clayton down and said, look, we got to be on the forefront of this. And we got to make sure that we uh, maintain our lead globally as an economic superpower. And the way to do that is to move along with the times. Get on this ETF Let's make sure this actually happens. That's just a theory. No one told me this, just how I seize it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. But moving on, it is interesting to state that SEC has turned on all the Bitcoin ETFs before, but the chief did say this. One of the problems that we had was we got off on the wrong foot in this innovation. There was the theory that because it was so efficient, because it could have so much promise, we could toss aside some of those principles of responsibility and transparency. I think now three years later, four years, we're in a much better spot. And yeah, I mean, we are. Well, it's like we just talked about all the different rails that have been put in, the infrastructure, uh, the businesses that are involved, the, the big institutional players. I mean, this is not 2017. This isn't 2010. This isn't 2015. This isn't 2017 of the bull run. We've actually got more than vaporware and white papers that just promised everything and delivered nothing. So I think this is actually a good play and I expect big things. It's, but I honestly, between me and you, it's just me and you. Uh, I don't think this is gonna happen. Not for a while, just me. Cause I've heard it for so long. Lastly, uh, Mr. Clayton didn't fail to give a subtle hint that the SEC won't be taking it easy. He added that when you're throwing a financial vehicle in the market, don't try to trick the regulator saying the function is payments. That's actually what we don't like. And I know he's referencing Ethereum. Really, that's what he is. I'm reading this book. It's called The Infinite Machine. And it is the history of the uh, Ethereum Foundation and how Vitalik created Ethereum, how it went through the Ethereum Mafia, how they got it to market, and how they did things. And one of the things that they did is they, in Switzerland, they hired a bunch of a, a group of lawyers. And they said, hey, how do we get this uh, approved? And they said, well, can you say that the gas is the, is the payment part? Yeah, we can do that. Well, just do that. And that's pretty much how they did it. So I think it's a different time. I think they're a little bit more savvy about what to look for. And uh, again, if it happens, fantastic. I'm just not gonna hold my breath, but let me just think of the comment section, but that's all I got for today. Lastly, random shout out days. So thanks everybody for signing up for Digital Asset News. Really appreciate it. So let me just say thanks and a shout out to Tavi Makanu. I knew I probably nailed it. Book up travel, Chelsea, McShane, who else we got? Jamie Watson. 
Crow 247, Sam Vasquez, Carlos Gomez, Eric Mitko, Johnny Bitcoin, and Dreamer, as well as, hey, my man, all right, soft. He's been around for a while. All right, everybody. So thanks for sticking with me through the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, maybe two more is going to pop up on your left and right. And uh, just check those out when you got time. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks so much. See you on the next one.